After 500 years of Portuguese rule and a decade of armed struggle, Angola gained independence in 1975. Sadly, the country was plunged into civil war for much of the next 27 years, fueled by Cold War rivalry and vast mineral wealth. An entire generation was affected before the fighting finally ended in 2002. As soldiers put away their guns and civilians returned home, many people discovered that for them, the tragedy of war was not entirely over. Minefields left over from the conflict continued to kill, maim, and block access to land and infrastructure. This land is needed for homes, agriculture, and safe access to water. The town of Biopio is situated in Benguela province, just to the south of an important hydroelectric dam. An estimated 10,000 landmines encircle the town and dam, preventing access to water sources for fishing and land for grazing. One minefield that has already been cleared by the Halo Trust in Biopio is located about 300 meters from the local primary school and about one kilometer from the main village. Students used to cross the minefield each day to get to school. Because of HALO's work, all of the students can now walk to school safely. In Bia province, extensive minefields were laid to prevent troops from advancing into the city of Quito, the scene of some of the bloodiest fighting during the war. HALO has been able to clear many of the minefields in this area. Before HALO's mine clearance, the village of Kunj was a struggling rural community impacted by landmines. Since clearance, houses have been built and businesses have flourished. The village has been able to expand and the people are now living and farming on safe land. Roads were directly targeted during the war. Many thousands of kilometers of roads were seeded with landmines, making it difficult for aid organizations to carry out their work after the war. HALO conducted road threat reduction operations, allowing these organizations to deliver emergency food and supplies to communities in need. Since then, HALO has continued its threat reduction efforts, opening up over 5,000 kilometers of Angolan road to allow people and goods to travel safely. Despite significant work that has been done and the economic growth in urban areas, landmine accidents continue to occur, and many of Angola's rural areas remain isolated and chronically underdeveloped. Quito Quanaval sits in the far southeastern corner of Angola's Quando Cobango province. The town of 43,000 people was the site of one of the most notorious battles of the war. Consequently, it is ringed by one of the most dense mine belts laid in Angola. Large numbers of mines persist to this day, while local communities grow and encroach ever closer to the danger. Pressure for good agricultural land is particularly high, especially along the fertile area near the Quito River, tempting locals to venture into known dangerous areas. So far, HALO's locally employed deminers have cleared nearly 18,000 landmines from among their own communities around Quito Quanaval, but many years of work still remain. Annually, HALO conducts studies to determine how cleared land is being used. The 2010 study found that 100% of the land cleared by HALO was returned to productive use, with 88% being used for agriculture. Through mine clearance efforts, small farmers can cultivate their land safely, and agricultural development has been proven to be the most effective way to reduce hunger and poverty. Although many minefields have been cleared, there is still much work to be done. The goal is a mine-free Angola. With your help, we can bring this vision one step closer to becoming a reality. <laughs>